Hi, I'm Rick from AC Delco. Today we're going to set up the communication software on your computer. So let's get started. Before we get started, connect the MDI USB cable to your computer. Then connect the power supply. From your desktop, click on the MDI Manager program by clicking on the GM MDI Manager shortcut on your desktop. Once the MDI Manager has opened, it should have already identified the MDI unit by the serial number. If you have several MDI units, they will also appear on the screen. Note, if only one MDI appears, it will already be highlighted. Click Connect. Because we're already connected to the MDI through a USB cable, a green check mark should appear indicating the unit is connected to each other. You will also have to note that the MDI lights above the PC icon are rapidly flashing. If you have a red X through the MDI icon, check your connections. On the tabs on the top, select Network Setup tab to configure your MDI for either wire or wireless. Once that screen opens, partially down the center, you'll notice the two tabs, wired and wireless. There are three different ways to communicate, either USB, Ethernet, or wireless. Select the wireless tab and follow the directions on the MDI user guide. Before modifying the MDI communication interface, refer to the GMIT standards for Wi-Fi network implementation. Check the box, Enabled Wireless Interface. Click Access Point. Note that the available network fields are empty. This is normal. Click the Refresh button. After the refresh, you should see all of the different networks. If you're not sure which network to choose, ask your local IT administrator if your wireless network automatically assigns an IP address. If not, you will need to obtain an IP address and a subnet mask from your IT administrator to assign to your MDI. Click Configure after selecting your wireless network. The network requires authentication is WPA, WPA2, open or shared. For data encryption only, the TKIP option should be used for WPA. Some businesses' wireless access may not be visible to the public and require an SSID, that is, service set identification, provided by your local IT administrator. So in this case, I'm going to select WPA2 Personal. I don't have an option for the encryption. Then I need to put in my password. In your case, you may have to obtain that password from your local IT administrator. Once you've put in your password, select Next. You'll get a Apply MDI Network Changes, select Yes. You should note at this point that there will be an antenna icon flashing in front of you, and then shortly after you should see the bars. These bars indicate the signal strength of your MDI unit. Note that they're not as accurate as the bars that will be on the MDI unit, which I will show you briefly. Back on the MDI Explorer tab, you will now see the signal bar added to your MDI indicating it is networked wirelessly. Now that you have set up the MDI communications, you should be ready to go. This is Rick from AC Delco. Thanks for watching this clip.